Come on. This got weird. Oh no. <laughs> Taste this and help me. I'm Ham. I'm Sola. You know, we get given this brown paper bag, mm -hmm. we reach in, we don't know what it is, we nope. take it out, we're like, whoa! But then we go to the drawing board. And sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's fun. Yeah. What do you love about Thanksgiving? <laughs> well, my mom is an amazing cook, so growing up she never let me cook, except Thanksgiving. Honestly, my parents didn't really care about it, which was great. So if dinner wasn't good, no one cared. When I moved here when I was 18, and like, it, it was the first American custom I adopted. It's like my, it's besides Sola, it's like my strongest tie to the country is Thanksgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just more jello and hot pockets. <laughs> it's like, haha, -ha, we put together all the things we knew you hated the most. Cans. It's cranberry sauce. No, is it, is it cranberry sauce? That's my guess. Can we do it? Let's do it. It's cranberry Jelly sauce. Jelly cranberry sauce. I grew up with this kind of cranberry sauce. Every year we make Melissa Clark's cranberry relish. It's like the favorite condiment, but we still always have a can for the yeah. vibes. It's also really good in a sandwich. When it comes to like cranberry, sauce i feel like they're they both need to be present because i get different things from both i get like from the homemade one you get like well the ones we make mm -hmm. besides the relish one if you're making a cooked down one you get like a hint of booze you get some mm -hmm. acidity but from this booze? you get like what kind of cranberry sauce are you having oh it's it's you put booze i, I like to put booze in my cranberry sauce i didn't know about uh, this but with this you're getting more of like a texture and some sweetness as well so they they i think they both need they both need representation on the table. So there's a, a rule that it has to be a Thanksgiving meal. Oh, that's the rule. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there we'll we go. do it. I, I don't think we can roast a whole turkey. A yeah, I think breast. we can get a breast. Because I don't think dark meat will be good without, without the brine, without mm -hmm. like, it's just mm -hmm. won't, it won't be good that fast. So I think breast is our best bet, probably mm -hmm. off the bone. Now, are we gonna put cranberry in every single dish? I think it would be nice to have it like kind of popping in there. So like the turkey breast can just be glazed in, in mm -hmm. a glaze made with this. And I think that's good. Like for the stuffing, incorporate this into the liquid and maybe use a little dried cranberries. I think if we're gonna do that, we should try and offset the sweetness with spice. Mm -hmm. So maybe we go for like a barbecue vibe on the turkey. Ooh, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. So we have like smoked paprika and cumin and chili. And, and stuff onion like powder that. and mm -hmm. garlic powder. Yeah, that sounds great. Roast it with the spices and finish it with the glaze. Yeah. Yeah. Butter based a little. Yeah. Ooh, start it on the pan. Butter based. The, the, your trademarked turkey technique. My trademarked turkey technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. Okay, mm. that sounds good. Stuffing, if we're going to put cranberry in there, I feel like it would be nice to like bump up the meatiness with like chorizo. If we're going I'm like. I'm definitely some kind of sausage. What about a Southwest Thanksgiving? A Bobby Flay, a Bobby Flay Thanksgiving. A Bobby Flay Thanksgiving. Okay, a Bobby yeah, Flay Thanksgiving. Yeah, a Bobby Flay Thanksgiving. I love that. Okay. okay. There's got to be ancho chili. That's powder. That's what I was gonna say. He ancho chili ancho. powder in the turkey and the turkey uh, spicing spice yeah. mix. We got stuffing. We got turkey gravy. Gravy with a little cranberry. I want with a, a little, little bourbon. I want a bourbon. That's what, I want a little hit of Bobby. That's what it was just. What is Affinity for Bobby Flay. He's Bobby Flay. He's, Bobby Flay. He's like unstoppable. And he has very identifiable yeah. flavors that he likes to go to. That he's leaned on for like his, 25 years. For, and he's still going <laughs> strong. You can't stop him. Okay, um, dessert. Okay, dessert pie. Maybe we can do like a pecan pie, but instead of corn syrup, do. Is, uh, that, would it work in the same way as an invert sugar? Second ingredient high fructose corn syrup. Third ingredient, corn syrup, of course. But l let me see how long it takes to bake. 60 to 70 minutes, that's not gonna work. What are other Thanksgiving desserts? Like, my mind only goes to pie. Like, the only thing I can think of is pie. Does anyone have anything non-pie related for Thanksgiving? Oh! Gina! Gina! Cheesecake. cheesecake. We could do a no-bake cheesecake. A no-bake cranberry chipotle cheesecake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, Bobby would be so proud. <laughs> Pecan crust. Yes. Cranberry, Chipotle, cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Bobby. Yes, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Okay, cool. We start with turkey. The centerpiece. Whoa. 
that's a piece of turkey, mm -hmm. and then there's some skin, and then it's sliced, so there's another piece right there. Whoa, there's yeah. a little bit of skin. It makes all of the And difference. it's gonna have a spice coating, mm -hmm. you know? Are you going to draw every slice? Uh, just a couple more, <laughs> okay. just to, to make it feel like a full breast. Gravy boat? Yeah. Should it be like mid-pour? Well, you, you can, you go for it. Spout, spout. And here's the gravy. Just Here comes the gravy. All right, you did it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's one of my worst things I've ever drawn. <laughs> Great job. Skillet. And it's gonna be filled with our stuffing. Whoa, wild. What? Don't hate me. Oh no. You know what's really Bobby Flay? Uh-huh. Turkey fajitas that we serve sizzling with some flour tortillas. So everything is the same. We're just going to do it in a sizzling skillet. Yeah. <laughs> Into strips, same seasoning. Like we're, we're just kind of tweaking it. We're giving it, giving it a little hit of Bobby. Okay, okay. So, okay, so we're still going to have stuffing. Yeah. Should we turn the stuffing into queso fundido? Like it'll be like stuffing with lots of cheese and chorizo, fundido style. Like 50% bread, 50% cheese. Okay, and, and then nice that, that'll the still tortillas. go with the tortillas. Okay, you sold me. And then if we're doing a sizzling skillet, should we do peppers and onions? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the full fajita set. We're doing peppers, we're doing onions. This is now also a skillet. Yeah. That sounds good. And then we need okay. flour tortillas. Yeah. We got tortillas, we got our queso, we got that. Okay, that's our cheesecake. It's gonna be a no-bake pecan crust. Pile it high with our cream cheese situation. Yeah, okay, I'm into this. Okay. Easy. Cranberry Thanksgiving a la. And I feel like the a la, it gives more respect. <laughs> to, to play. Exactly. To, to, to Sir Bobby. Yeah, it's a Bobby Flay Thanksgiving. We uh -huh. made it. It's November. Uh -huh. It's the season finale. And now, now we're here. So after shopping, a couple of things changed. Turkey breast. Please examine how large this turkey breast is. This is half of one turkey breast. Half of breast. one breast. And some tenders and stuff were trimmed from it already, so it, it was even girthier. Instead of roasting it whole, it's going to be cut into thin slices, tossed with spices, and then cooked in a cast iron until crispy. And the skin is going to be cooked separately in the oven until it's like crispy pieces. The whole thing's going to get glazed in cranberry. So it's a different plan than originally. It's mm -hmm. not going to have that big holiday large yeah. format vibe, but I think it'll taste better. And we're gonna try and also make a cranberry guacamole. Yes. We're gonna, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. It's a Bobby Flay Thanksgiving. It's a Bobby Flay ready. Thanksgiving. Right. Three, two, one, go. Wow, it's happening. All right, I'm gonna deal with this large turkey breast. But yeah, I'm gonna get the skin in the oven so I can start rendering and get crispy. Yes, make sure everybody sees that I'm washing my hands. Oh, we didn't see her wash her hands. There's editing, guys. You know I'm not cooking straight through. <laughs> the still pat's gonna keep it from sticking and we just wanna weigh it down so the whole thing doesn't like curl up. We want a nice skin chip. I got that half breast, right? And I cut the half breast into quarters and the quarters of the half breast are still bigger than the average turkey breast. <laughs> How is that possible? Look at this. 55 minutes. I'm really distracted today. We've had a cake in the oven by now before. So first things first, we're gonna make the pecan crust for the cheesecake. We're gonna blitz them. It's all broken up. I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm gonna add some salt. Then I'm gonna use an egg white to bind. So I'm just gonna blitz it until it holds together. Which is what I got right here. What do you think, Ham? Do we actually like fajitas or do we just? There's something very fun about, like nostalgic fun about a fajita. When you cook Thanksgiving dinner, do you do traditional or do you, are you like freestyling? Some years traditional, some years freestyle. Depends on who's coming to dinner. I think when it when it's just us alone, it's it gets like it's usually just fried chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna melt this down. 
And this is gonna be kind of like the sweetener, the stabilizer, the everything in the cheesecake. I'm just opening up my cream cheese. Make sure you get all of me struggling with this cream cheese. <laughs> and now, we blitz. I'm looking for the cream cheese to be really smooth without any lumps. So because of the, the timing is gonna be so tight for this cheesecake to set, we're gonna add a little gelatin as well just to make sure the cheesecake is firm enough to slice by the time we need it. Adding a little honey. How much time is there? 51. 51. We're gonna char our peppers. This is such a Bobby Flay move, right? We even have Bobby Flay tongs. Hey, are, are you we... using the, the Flay tongs? We're gonna go for like a blackened turkey vibe with some spices. Turkey is, I, it, you know, it's fine. I, I, don't, I don't dislike it, but I don't think we really eat it outside of Thanksgiving. Do you feel really confused on different sides of the kitchen like this? Yeah, Wait. yeah, I'm, it's, I don't know what the hell's I don't going know, on. I'm a, I'm a little lost. It's freaking me out. I don't know why we decided to do this. Yeah. This is the only time we've done this. I don't know, we were like, let's shake things up. Ham yeah. will make dessert and be on that side of the kitchen. Whoa. It'll be, that'll be fun, right? So this is just some chorizo. I'm just gonna render, render that out. Just cooking out this chorizo. I was hoping this cranberry would melt down a little bit better, but it, it should break down the rest of the way when I stream it into the cheesecake. So the, these are all the aromatics for the stuffing. How are you feeling now? Um, I'm feeling all right. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for a crust to be ready so I can pull it out. And, I'm, I, I need to wait on a lot of things to cool and set. So I'm, I'm where I need to be right now. So I'm okay. Gonna do sage chili powder gravy in honor of Bobby Flay. The color evokes, vaguely evokes the Southwest, you know? This is what we're going for. Pam hates gravy with roux. I do, I'm a, I'm a reduction person. He's a fancy man and he just wants to have roux all the time. Yeah, I just want my roux gravy on top of like stuffing. It's like bread on bread. So I just want, you know, chill, chill little jus on top of my stuffing. I disagree, I disagree. Cranberry sauce. I'm like, what does this need? Cranberry sauce. I grew up on this stuff. One of my first jobs was just slicing the cranberry sauce. Nice and golden brown. I'm gonna go right into the freezer because I'm hoping that chills. My favorite part of making stuffing every time is like that, cooking that aromatics and stuff out. Your mix-ins, that always smells great. Oh, whoa. We've, there's one, there was one non silicon, non silicon spatula mixed in with the. Melted it. Sorry. And my gelatin. Okay, this is ready to go. So here we have our cornbread stuff in. So I'm preparing the fajitas. Yes. Thirty-five. What do you think about my meat? About your what? My meat. Yeah, looks good. You got a sear on it. You got some. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. sounds good to me. Does it? Yeah. It looks Turkey like the pieces does. are a little large. So, like this guy's a little large, but the rest of these mm. guys are okay. It tastes great. Mm. So our cheesecake filling is inside of our crust. All right, now we wait. This got weird. Um. <laughs> Taste this and help me.
what happened here? <laughs> what is this? There's no flavor at all. Yeah, there's just a little hint of tang at the end. Is there another bone broth? Should we just reduce some yeah, and reduce then some add some of this to that? Both of these, right? Yeah, let's go for it. I want to peel off the charred parts and then I'm going to cut them into strips. Oh God, is it going to be another like emotional roller coaster? And then in the end, it was good. <laughs> so That's never happened before. <laughs> 22 minutes. Wow. So in here, I'm whipping some brandied cherry syrup with some chipotle sugar and heavy cream. To prevent over whipping, I like to do the last of the whips by hand. Do you want me to get on guac? You got time for guac? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in slow motion in this one. That's this one feels like, like I'm moving quite slow. Yeah. yeah. Do we look like we're moving really slow? You look relaxed. Relaxed. That, that means, means slow. slow. Yeah. 17 minutes. That means minutes. we're slow and that means we're boring. That's what that means. Talk about ending on a low, huh? Hey, Ham, hot behind. Hot behind. Okay, let's figure this gravy out. That's how you make a lot of guac fast. And then you got these nice little cubes that you can just toss and then it's the perfect level of uh, chunk. Wow. Oh, you guys haven't seen that? No. It's, uh, it's a restaurant it's how, trick. It's how the, it's how the restaurants do hey, it. You, we should I've, make a I've TikTok. Just I've just revealed. <laughs> oh, flip. Fourteen minutes. It's the most cranberry sauce I've ever used in something. Like it, like in, in a day, you know? Who goes through this much cranberry sauce? A little hit of, little hit of cran, you know. Now I am aware that lemon juice is not the traditional acid inside of guacamole, but you know, it's Thanksgiving. It's Bobby Flay's Thanksgiving. Look at that. Nice and crisp on the outside. And now we cheese. I just need to assemble pie and uh, garnish the stuffing. Pie is not set. Well, don't say that. There's still time. Well, you're, you, you really went, you're going for I it. I don't know what's going on here. It's so <laughs> you're, weird. You're going for it. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys remember? I don't know what's going on. It's well, somehow, it's like, it's like, it's the black hole of flavor. It doesn't matter <laughs> how much you put into it, it ends up like tasting like nothing still. It's so pretty, like... I, I, somebody taste this. Be honest. Oh, it reminds me of something, but not gravy. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a soup, like French onion soup or something. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna stop. We're just, that's the gravy. That's the gravy. Let's heat up some tortillas. So I'm gonna open this oven and you're gonna see a cast iron filled with melted bubbly cheese. Did you get there? We did. Is we that what happened? There. We got there. All right, you're almost there. I'm almost there. You I'm almost, almost there? there. You're plating up, right? Hot, Love. hot, hot, very hot. Remember when we thought we could uh, make the flour tortillas? Yes, that, that, that was a mistake. I think you did great. That looks amazing. Today was just me. I just really let it down. Oh, no, you, I have not take, I haven't brought out this monstrosity of a cheesecake yet. I'm gonna pop the whipped cream on top of it while it's still, without moving it. 45 seconds. This looks like a, like a thing. This looks like, fine. this looks like something people would eat. I wouldn't want Bobby Flay to eat this. No, no. You didn't get Bobby Flay, did you? You didn't get Bobby Flay. <laughs> Are you going to be like, and there's a special guest. Bobby Flay. <laughs> She's like, never again. I'm never inviting anyone ever again. Uh, how do you feel? You know, we've done better. We've also done worse. I wish we could have ended strong. Yeah. Bobby Flay, if you're watching, don't judge us. We're sorry. We I'm can sorry. do a lot better. I um, completely kept forgetting that the ingredient was cranberry sauce. Yeah, in my mind it was ancho chilies because it was Bobby a Bobby for Thanksgiving. So I, was, I kept thinking, I'm like, man, am I using enough chilies here? Did I use it? And then that's why, I, like, it's like, oh, cranberries. I yeah. put the turkey skin in the oven to try it for a spin runner, but uh, I don't know. 
why I thought that would work. Normally when we render skin like that, we salt it first. I'm going to start here. Alright. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that one's a success. Okay, so if you do that, <laughs> chorizo, celery, onion, a whole bunch of butter. Ooh, nice char on these tortillas. Um, this is what I'm most looking forward to eating, this like, really nicely charred tortilla. Wow. It's not bad. I'll tell you that. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. cornbread stuffing with melted cheese on top. And yeah. cranberry sauce. Like, what's not to like? Try this out. Like, press it on the pan, get it nice and crisp, and then yeah. melt cheese on top like it's Whoa. a deep dish pizza. Guys. Because this Thanksgiving 2022, next. I'm gonna build it. We'll talk. Mm -hmm. As you're building, wanted to let you know that we did get through to Bobby Flay. No. He was busy today, but he wishes he could join us. Oh, and he was God, very flattered. He's not here, Bobby Flay. He was very flattered. How do we do this? What do this? Hmm, that's good. It's delicious. This is really delicious. Nicely spiced. Mm -hmm. This isn't necessary. I think the tortillas are. No, the tortillas are the gravy. Oh, the gravy's not, yeah. Yeah, if you make this, if you want to have a Bobby Flay Thanksgiving, you leave out the gravy, it's just nice with the cranberry sauce and sour cream. Yeah, but, um, that's delicious. The breast is really tender, and you, yeah. to get it like that nice sear on it, and to get it that tender in that amount of time, that's like... Well, we did it. It's a real treat. Poblano is such a better, it has so much more flavor than a bell pepper. It does, because I feel like bell peppers just bring sweetness. And with the cranberry, that's the last thing we needed. I think it's fine, it looks good. I don't I think know, it's man. set. Oh God. Well, you know, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't set. Oh, you know what, what you should have done? What? Ice bath, the filling before pouring it in. Oh, remember when we did banana cream pie? Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. The whole pie shell went in the ice bath. Completely, Completely forgot. Completely forgot about that. That would have been helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? You guys. <laughs> the flavors are really good. Mm -hmm. Like if it's set, this is actually like a real thing people could make. Yeah. Crust is tasty. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be soggier, but crust is fine. You get cranberry tart flavor from the base, mm -hmm. and you get a little bit of heat from the chipotle and the whipped cream. My favorite part is the heat. In the whipped cream, yeah. I know we did it mostly too. as a joke, but but it works. It really it like works. balances out the richness of the cream cheese and mm -hmm. of the pecan. Mm -hmm. I wish it set because it's mm -hmm. actually the flavors are really good. I think maybe we'll actually make that. Mm -hmm. Turn it into a recipe. It was all tasty. I want to have a fajita party now. Yeah, it was. It was also fun. Fun to eat. I think this is a really good Friendsgiving one. Mm -hmm. When you want the Thanksgiving vibes, but not necessarily like the full on yeah. traditional meal. It's easier, it's less messy. I was really mad at you guys during this one, the whole time. <laughs> then here now, we are. <laughs> here we are, now, now thank you. Who knew? Thank you for this fun time. Yeah, I'm gonna make this a pie. <laughs> mm -hmm.